Hi, my name is Rich Acosta. And I'm Erica Feldman. When we first heard about the Squonk Hackathon, we knew right away that we wanted to build something that everybody could use. We thought about Splunk's role as a search engine for machine data. What's one machine that we use on a day-to-day -day basis? One machine we all use is our car. Wouldn't it be great, we thought, if we were able to track our car's driving patterns over time? Using an inexpensive OBD2 Bluetooth adapter, an Android device, and of course Splunk, we did just that. But we wanted to take it one step further. We wanted to show how efficiently our car was being driven. Using Splunk, we analyzed the data collected to come up with a single value that represents the overall efficiency for each trip. We call that the green score. Let's go see what we have in Splunk. Hello again. We are now logged into our local Splunk instance, where we have logged about a week's worth of daily driving. Let's go take a look. When you first open the application, you are presented with a weekly view of your trip statistics. You see your average green score, your average speed, your max speed, and your time spent driving. In the second row, you can see your time spent driving per day, your distance driven per day, and your speed range distribution for the week. Finally, you see a table displaying statistics for each trip. Let's drill down to our drive home on August 15th. The trip drill down presents you with information about the selected trip. You can see your start and end times, the length of the trip, average and maximum values for speed and engine RPM, and of course, the green score. Scrolling down a little bit, you see charts for speed, engine RPM, engine load, and vehicle activity across the length of the trip. But probably the most exciting part of this dashboard is the map view. It outlines the path driven, color coding different sections based on how efficiently you are driving. As you can see by both the speed chart and map view, this trip involved a lot of stop and go traffic, resulting in a lower than average green score. Unfortunately, that's what happens when you drive the Garden State Parkway during rush hour.